Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm the sewing specialist here at Fonz & Porter. In this Quilting Quickly tutorial, I'll show you how to make the blocks for the table runner called Island Chain. If you'd like to purchase this pattern, please visit our website. We've got a great collection of tropical blues and greens and we're going to be using 5 inch pre-cut squares in a wonderful array of batiks and then we're going to use a print, kind of cream on cream batik to set all of that um, blue and green off nicely. So from those, we're also going to be cutting the background fabric. We're going to cut five inch squares to go with each of the 32 that are needed for this project. So you can jump right in, cut your cream colored squares. This is what one of our squares looks like. What we need to do is make four of these blocks and put them side by side to create our table runner. So let's walk through the process of making the blocks that goes into this project. So we just need one, one cream, and then one of each of the prints gets matched up. And you're going to be marking on this. In this case, we'll mark on the cream color side. It's easiest to see. We're going to be making triangle squares like this. And so what we can use then is the Fonz & Porter quarter inch seam marker. It is created so that it's exactly one half inch wide with a mark down the center, a black and yellow line that will, it, when lined up from corner to corner across a block, will give us a perfect line to mark our quarter inch seam allowance, or quarter inch seam stitching line. So you mark one side here, use your favorite um, sewing marking tool. This one is a friction pen that when heated with the iron, the ink dissipates, so it'll go away. And we've got markings there, so we know where to stitch. So we'll take those right uh, fabrics right side together. With batiks, it's very hard to tell what is the right side, so it's kind of an easy, um, you don't have to worry about which is the right or wrong side because of the dyeing process. We're going to line up our sewing machine needle in the center position because what we're going to be doing then is sewing right on the marked line or a little bit to the inside. We've made a parallel set of lines. We're going to sew just a tad bit to the inside, just like a thread distance to the inside so that when we are finished, we can open up and have triangle squares ready to go for our table runner. Now when you get to the far side, what you can do is leave the needle in position, raise the presser foot, jump across to the other side, because that is actually a seam allowance, so it allows us to kind of move within the block so we don't have to cut thread, and you can stitch really quickly then the second side. And if you were to have all of your pieces marked for this, you could sit down with a whole stack of blocks stitch all of them at one time. So then we have marked. I've stitched both sides. We're going to take that over to the iron. We always want to set our seams, which means to warm up the fibers, kind of flatten the stitching out, embed those threads. And then you can use, either use a rotary cutter or a scissors, and it's very easy just to slice down between those lines. corner to corner. Then we're going back to the iron and we're going to press our seams in one direction. I'm going to warm it up just quickly because warm fibers press really easily and we're going to press the seam out toward the darker fabric. And then you would take your second one because for this process you get two for one. For every time you do that process you get two triangle squares. So we press the seam allowance to one side again, and we have two ready to go. Now, go down through that a whole stack of the lights and the prints, create all the triangle squares you need, and then it's basically following the instructions for the layout. But there is one more thing. You take each of these squares, and you're going to be um, cutting them down to four and a half inches. That gives you a nice math. I'll show you this ruler. It's the Fonz & Porter Square Up Ruler. It has a shield on the back that creates a ridge on the diagonal, and it's repositionable, so you can make it perfect, or you can adjust it if you like. But that way, you can then lay it onto your triangle square and um, slide that ridge right into the ditch, we call, where the two fabrics are joined. 
and you can trim a perfect four and a half inch square right out of the center. Because we're doing this process on five inch pre-cuts, our math comes out a little strange uh, when you're doing a triangle square method like this. And so it also takes away any distortion from pressing, um, if there was any tiny bit of stretch in your block as you were stitching, um, this will take that out and then all of your pieces will fit together perfectly. And it trims off the dog ears at the same time. So you would go down through all your blocks, see the little tiny bit that you're wasting is basically just a little scribbles. <laughs> so you create all of the triangle squares, arrange them so that you get that strong light um, on the outside, your floating diamond in the light center, and you've created Island Chain. Thanks for joining me today. If you'd like to see more of our Quilting Quickly tutorials, please visit our website. Thank you. Mm -hmm.